Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about how to use your smartphone as a high-quality webcam. Let's get started. All you'll need is your smartphone or tablet, alongside your laptop, and a reliable internet connection. It's recommended to invest in a stand or tripod to stabilize your device. And don't forget your charger so your phone doesn't run out of battery. First, you'll need to make sure your phone is connected to a stable Wi-Fi connection. To test your speed, open your smartphone's browser, go to Google, and type in speed test. Click run speed test. Your upload speed must be at least 5 megabits per second to stream in 1080p. Speedtest.net is a good option as well if you use their app. The browser version won't include the upload speed. Now, let's dive into Video Ninja. In your phone's browser, navigate to video.ninja. Click on the Add Your Camera to OBS button. Your browser may prompt you to grant permission to access your device's camera and mic. Go ahead and allow it. Next, in the Video Sources section, click the drop-down menu and select either your front or back camera depending on your preference. By default, your phone's audio source will be its microphone. The audio output destination can be left as default. You can also add digital effects like a blurred or virtual background, or choose an experimental option. For an extra layer of privacy, you have the option to add a password. Once you've configured these settings, simply click Start to initiate your broadcast. Now, let's connect your camera feed to OBS Studio. Begin by copying the link displayed at the top of the Video Ninja page. Next, transfer this link to your streaming computer where OBS Studio is installed. You can share the link via email or through a messaging app that's accessible on both devices. Now, open OBS Studio. In the Sources section, click on the plus button and choose Browser. Feel free to rename it, then click OK. Next, paste the Video Ninja link into the URL field. Make sure the width and height settings match your camera's video output. So 1920 by 1080 for horizontal video, or 1080 by 1920 for vertical. It's best to have OBS have control over the audio, so make sure to check that box. If a scene is inactive for too long, it can disrupt the feed. To prevent this, select Refresh Browser when scene becomes active. Once you've adjusted the settings to your preference, click OK to confirm, and you're done. You can resize this by right-clicking the browser, transform, then fit to screen or you can simply drag a corner and resize as needed. To use this camera feed on a Zoom, Teams, or Skype call, click Start Virtual Camera for it to appear as a video source on those platforms. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If it has, consider giving this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, happy streaming!